Riani? Yes. I would like to ask your consent to record this meeting so we can proceed. So welcome everyone to Vinica Online Toastmasters Club meeting. Can I hear your energy and your excitement for this meeting today? Yay! All right, awesome. So our theme today, the last meeting of this Toastmaster term is pretty special. And our Toastmasters of the meeting, Robin, and probably Pipet will help out in the beginning. We'll explain a little bit more. It's first day of summer. But coincidentally, it's also at the end of the term for Toastmasters. I would like to welcome Toastmasters from near and far. Uh, I would like to say hello to all Toastmasters from Bineka Online Toastmaster Club members, Fifi, Intan, Burona, Pipit, uh, Dian, uh, Lufti, and hey, Robin is here. And I would also like to welcome our visiting Toastmasters who, is also, who are also helping out uh, roles, Grammarian, Toastmaster Fry, thank you from Mauritius, and also Toastmaster Apri from Malang Toastmaster Club doing a timer today. And I also would like to welcome our guest, Fanny, our returning guest, Fanny, welcome to Bineka Online Toastmaster Club. Before I pass over to the Toastmaster of the meeting, I would like to read our Toastmasters Club mission, as well as Toastmaster Club core values and Vineka Online Club Values. So the Toastmasters Club mission is to provide a supportive and positive learning experience in which members are empowered to develop communication and leadership skills, resulting in greater self-confidence and personal growth. And the core values that we believe in is integrity, respect, service, and excellence. In Vineka Online Toastmasters Club, we have our own club values as simple as A, B, C, appreciate our club members, build each other up and celebrate successes. So I welcome you all with a warm welcome, just like our theme for today. And I hope you enjoy the meeting. And now I would like to hand it over to Toastmasters of the meeting, Toastmaster Robin Chan. Am I audible? Yes, you are. Thank you very much, Madam President. Hi, everyone. My name is Robin, and today I will be the Toastmaster of the meeting, also known as the Tom for short. And today, we our theme of today is first day of summer. And I found this theme a little bit weird because in Indonesia, there's no such thing as summer or winter. It's just summer and super summer. That, is that right? <laughs> yeah. That's what I've heard. And in Mauritius, we have summer and winter, and now it's winter time, and Freha can tell, um, tell us about it later on. And yeah, it's pretty cold here. I mean, not very cold, but um, it's quite weird to say it's summer for us. And today, the theme, why we choose the theme is the first day of summer is because, you know, a lot of things come in new in our lives. So just like summer itself, when summer comes, it's like we're happy, we want to be joyful, we want to take out, we, we want to, to go out with our friends. So that's what summer is all about. We want to bring uh, our friends together out, we want to hang out with them, we want to just have some fun. So that's what we are here today in Toastmasters. We are here to have some fun. Are you ready to have some fun today? Yay! Awesome. Yeah, we only have summer and rainy season. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's true. It's true. Yeah. Okay. So now we have now um, our word of the day today is, as you can see in the agenda, can someone send the agenda in the chat? Um, the word of the day is exil wait, exhilarate. The word of the day is exhilarate. So I will let our grammarian to explain that later on. And now I would like to call upon the I would like to call upon the general evaluator, who is none other than distinguished toastmaster Natalie, to lead her team to just uh, tell us more about what this team is all about. Over to you. Yes, thank you, Toastmasters Robin Chan. It's my pleasure to be your general evaluator tonight. And in general, general, general evaluator role requires me to evaluate the whole meeting proceeding from beginning until the end. But I would like to emphasize that I'm here to assist you in your growth and not to judge you whatsoever. So I'm here to give you some suggestion for improvement and also highlighted some important points that have been uh, made 
through throughout your speaking duration in this meeting. I cannot do this alone, so I have team members to support me. So first up, I would like to call our grammarian, Toastmaster Fry, Fryha, or Toastmaster Fry. Please give her a warm virtual applause. Thank you, General Evaluator and Madam the President, Natalie. Fellow Toastmasters and guests, as grammarian, it is my responsibility to, play, to pay close attention to all speakers, listening carefully to their language usage. I'll take note of any improper language, as well as any outstanding words, quotes, sayings, or thoughts. As grammarian, it is also my duty to introduce the word of the day, as already announced by our Tom, Toastmaster Robin. For today's meeting, the word of the day is exhilarate. Exhilarate. I will play the sound so that you can hear it. Please let me know if I am audible. Exhilarate. Did you hear it? Exhilarate. Exhilarate. Right. Exhilarate means to make someone feel very happy animated or elated. One example would be, the children were exhilarated by a sense of purpose. The children were exhilarated by a sense of purpose. The meaning of exhilarate is to make someone feel very happy, animated or elated. Each speaker is, an, is encouraged to use the word of the day. I will give the grammarian's report when called upon during the meeting and also report on the usage of the word of the day at the end of the meeting. Thank you, General Evaluator, over to you. Thank you, Dr. Safrai, our grammarian. Now moving on to our, my next team member, it's the Ah Counter. So please give a warm virtual applause to Master Dian Fifi. Okay. Okay, thank you, Madam and Mr. Toastmaster of the day. Good evening. My role is as a AHA counter and I will count the unnecessary sounds and repetitive words. And I will be observing and taking note of words such as um, ah, you, know, and like. And as we know, these are fillers that affect the effectiveness of the speak of the speech. And I will and I will report. Uh, I um, I'm going to report to the to uh, G uh, to the, the to the GE back to the Tom. Thank you, Toastmaster Dian. Am I audible? Yes, okay, sorry, my connection is a little bit unstable. All right, thank you, Toastmaster Dian. Moving on to our, my next team member, it is the timer, Toastmaster Ari from Malang Toastmaster Club. Please give him a warm virtual applause. All right, hello everyone. Good evening, and as a timer, my job is to track the time for each speaker, evaluator, and double topic participant. Basically, all of you have to finish your speech by a certain time. And for first speaker, you only have five until seven minutes. And for second, second speaker, you only have three until four minutes. And for double topic participant, you only have one until two minutes. And for evaluator, you only have two until three minutes to deliver your speech. And to help you, I'll give a warning signal as a background color. And first it will turn from green, yellow, and red. From green color like this, and that's mean you can continue your speech or you can also finish your speech if you want. And the next is yellow color. That means you need to prepare to finish your speech and the last is a red background. 
that means you need to finish your speech as soon as possible because after the red background turn on, you only have 30 seconds left before you get disqualified. So please pay attention to your time and don't forget to pin me when you speak. So that's all for me. Back to General Evolator. Thank you, Tosmasa Apri. And last, my in my team, we have ballot counter, and today it's also being handled by Toastmaster Robin Chan. So please welcome Toastmaster Robin Chan. Thank you very much, Madam General Evaluator. Yes, today I will be the ballot counter as well. So what happens in, as a ballot counter is that I will ask you to vote for the best speaker, the best table topic speaker, and the best evaluator for today. So I will send out the Google link later on to fill on the Google form. So please do that later on after the speeches when we will announce it. All right, so back to you, Madam General Evaluator. Thank you, Tosmas Robin Chan. Before I pass it back to Tosmas of the meeting, I would like to say hi to our member, Dani Atika. Hi, Dani, can you open your camera? <laughs> Hi, I'm really so sorry because today I am six. My voice is not good. I'm, I'm just uh, to see and enjoy in this meeting. Really, really so sorry. Don't worry, Danny. Don't worry, Danny. You don't have yeah. to feel sorry or to say sorry. So I just hope that you get better soon and you enjoy the meeting. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Miss Lai. Yeah, so happy. Thank so you. happy to see you here. It okay, is exhilarating. Yes. Okay, yes. thank you, Danny. All right, back to you, Toastmaster Robin. Okay, it's back to me again. Thank you very much, Madam General Evaluator. So today, this is um, what we're going to do today is this is the team that was introduced by um, the general evaluator. So now we move on to our next thing on the agenda. What's next? You may ask. Is it table topics? No, it's not. It's not in this club. I've been in so much club that I forgot. Okay, so now is the prepared speeches. Okay, so as prepared speeches, we have our, we have two speakers today. We have one speaker who is um, Toastmaster Intan and the other speaker is Toastmaster Lufti. So the first speaker, let me introduce the first speaker first. Okay, the first speaker is speaking from the path of um, presentation mastery and the project is um, the first level, the level one project free on researching and presenting. And the title is, how do you pronounce that? Anjing, is it? Yes. Is it? Yeah, okay, sorry. Yeah, it's called Anjin for Millennials. Anjin for Millennials. The time is five to seven minutes. So let's welcome our first speaker of today, Toastmaster Intan, for the speech of Anjin for Millennials. Anjin for Millennials, Toastmaster Intan Rawit. Over to you. Robin, I think I need to read the purpose statement. Oh, sure. No problem. Yeah. Okay, uh, Intan Rawit, her title is Anjing for Millennials. The purpose of this project is for the member to learn or review basic research methods and present a well-organized, well-researched speech on any topic. Intan Rawit, Anjing for Millennials. Anjing for Millennials, Intan Rawit. Yeah, how do you pin Apri first? Sorry, how to pin Apri? <laughs> uh, because we I'll only spot, have... Okay. Him. I'll spotlight okay. him. Thank you. Is that okay? Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Tom and Burona. So I would like to start my speech, which is called Anjing for Millennials. Okay, can I start? Okay, today I would like to share you my 
a small research about the usage of word anjing, which is uh, the meaning is dog in Indonesia. So before, uh, before uh, taking this uh, research, uh, I met a lot of uh, situations that makes me uh, think that I have to know more about the usage of these words in millennials. So one day uh, before the pandemic started, I was in elevator with a group of students uh, we were going to our class and um, at that time, the young students, the university students say something. Uh, they say it very happy to show. I, I heard that they show their happiness and excitement by saying, oh, anjing, gila keren banget. Uh, they, say, they say that this is cool. This is very cool. But they use this word anjing. But she doesn't know, didn't know that in a backwards, there was an elderly lecturer who was very shocked hearing this word. Because in Indonesia, this word is uh, included in taboo words. You cannot say it. Uh, and it is very impolite. So the elderly lecturer was very shocked. And then he said, Astaghfirullahaladzim, why do you say that words? It's impolite. And blah, blah, blah. These young uh, students are very long lectures about this word. And another situation, I was in a, a Bandung for a vacation, for a family vacation, and in a road full of people, uh, my husband accidentally uh, pat someone's shoulders, the young, young people, a girl, and suddenly she said, Anjing, a dog. So I was so shocked. Why he she said that words? Because uh, usually we say, "Oh, sorry, uh, it's okay." That that was the normal, the normal way. But she she said anjing or dog. So I think uh, is she swearing or is he said something like uh, showing his um, annoyed of, of, from that situation? I was thinking and thinking. And in another time, I was in a cafe, in a small cafe, and eat my lunch. And with and that uh, place, there was a group of high schooler. They were uh, doing their homework or their tasks. And I heard so many words, this uh, dog, dog, dog. But I, if I heard from that conversation, they were not swearing. They were not uh, mean to swear. They just say their excitement, their uh, happiness, and many things. That's why uh, it makes me think that there is a gap between what the elderly uh, people think about this word and what the young people, or we call it millennials, think about this word. So there is a gap uh, between, um, between us. So that's why. Why don't I uh, research more? Why don't I ask them? why they use this kind of words and when they use this word, uh, when they uh, angry or when they happy or they were excited or when. And they, I asked them to write the sentence when they use this word. So I found it and, um, okay. So let's talk about the millennials first. So basically they were, generations born up in uh, mid-1980 uh, until 2000. And they were very close to the gadget and very free. So there are millennials. And so because uh, uh, my background from the language, so I will relate this phenomenon, language phenomenon into uh, something what we call like semantic changes or meaning shift. So, what uh, we see, what I uh, saw from, from this word, anjing or dog in Indonesian, uh, it has changed over the time. So from the real meaning as a swear word, as, as the real word, as a dog, as an animal, but over the time, it changed the meaning, generalized. So we call it in a semantic, uh, it is 
broadening or widening. So the meaning, it is not the same like the uh, earlier meaning. So it is also called like the extension, generalization, expansion, and the opposite process is called semantic narrowing. So let's talking about the example of the, yes, the real meaning of anjing itself is a dog, it is an animal. So we just uh, generally care to keep house hunt and etc. But uh, for the why Indonesian use this word as the swear words, because uh, in related to the histories, a dog is a colonizer's pet. So to express the angriness or to express the uh, from the local people to the colonizers, the local people use this word because they think that uh, it could represent their anger to the colonizer. So after that, uh, it became a curse word into Indonesian. We say that if we are angry, if we met to someone, and this is very impolite. But nowadays, uh, millennials use it to express excitement, to express shock, to express uh, when, when they admire something, when they annoyed by something, or greeting, even greeting, just say hi. They use, they use this word. So I said, this is a very cool phenomenon. And also to express their happiness. So what we could see here, why one word could broaden its meaning, could change because of, uh, from Pateda state that, it because of the coincidental factor, units factor, or taboo of words. While from Ullman state that language factor, historical, social, psychological influence of foreign language is the cause of the meaning shift. So many words uh, beside this anjing word. So the summary is that the language will always change over time. So because language will always change because of its social, it's the need, the time, so I thought that all the generations should accept this phenomenon and appreciate it and understand from the young generation uh, perspective. But for young generation, they should be wiser when using these tab words. I think that's all for my speech. Thank you. Back to Tom. Wow. Thank you very much, Toastmaster Intan, for this uh, amazing speech. Okay, wait, I forgot I need to. Can you stop sharing your screen? And I will have to spotlight myself. Okay, thank you very much for sharing uh, this, this speech. You know, I, I remember this, now, now that you mentioned this word, I remember this word when I was in Malaysia and the, a lot of people have used this word. I mean, not a lot, but few people have used this word. I thought that it's a bad word, you know? Then after that, now I remember like, oh, okay. So it means the, um, it means dog in, in Bahasa, right? So, wow, I, I didn't know that, but I learned something new today. Thank you for sharing that. Indeed, sometimes language do evolve with time. So I do not know if we can still use that word right now or will it offend anyone? But anyhow, anyway, uh, let's use our words wisely today. Okay, so thank you very much for sharing that speech. Okay, so I forgot to mention earlier that um, Toastmaster Ranawati will be the evaluator for uh, Toastmaster Intan uh, because I have a lot of things happening here. So I'm using my phone to just read the agenda. Okay, so next speaker we have for today who is none other than Lufti, and he will be delivering his speech also from the path of presentation mastery. And he will be doing his project from level three as an elective project on the second speech of a social speech. He will be doing a eulogy. And his speech title is See You Again. See You Again. And the time is four, uh, three to four minutes. So timer, where is our timer? Oh, our timer is here. Okay. So timer is for uh, three to four minutes. And the evaluator is Toastmaster Vivi Amaliawati. Can you read the, um, the objective of the speech? Is Vivi here? Yeah. 
Good evening, my fellow Toastmaster. Today, Toastmaster Lutfi will deliver his second speech for social speeches. The purpose of this project is for Toastmaster Lutfi to practice delivering social speeches in front of club members with a well-organized, well-delivered speech with appropriate content. And like Toastmaster of the meeting today, Robin said that the uh, his type of speech will be eulogy. The time given to Toastmaster Lutfi is three until four minutes and his speech title is See You Again. Am I audible? Yes. <clears throat> In Islamic teaching, a person will be recited as an, a call for prayer specifically for them twice. First, on the day they were born. Second, on the day they die. It is a custom that the one who gives the recital of Azan for a newborn baby is their dad. It was my father who recited Adans to my ear on the day I was born. I told myself that if one day my father died, I will be the one recite Azan for him on his funeral as a token of my affection for him. Unfortunately, I wasn't lucky enough to perform the Adan on the day he died. Please allow me to give this long overdue short eulogy in loving memory of my father to redeem myself. In the movie Last Samurai, Tom Cruise was asked by the emperor, how a legendary samurai Katsumoto dies? He replied, I will not tell you how he died, but I will tell you how he lived. So today I spoke once about how my father's life influenced me a lot, especially about his patience during my Superman speech. Now I would like to mention one more quality of my father. He is the last of the Mohicans. You know, my father is the seventh child out of nine siblings. And now why do I call him the last of the Mohicans? Because he died last. Out of that nine siblings, my father is the one who died last. I don't know why, because age and death is universal secret, right? No one knows when our time will come. But from what I can conclude, my father has a long life, long span of life, because he's a happy man. I mean, exhilarate is his middle name, I think. My father went through a lot of difficulties in his life, but yet he never showed a sign of despair or a sign of uh, negativity. So he's always say positivity throughout his life. I've never seen him uh, frown or nothing, but he always smiled. No matter how hard life hit him, he always happy or at least try to be happy. It's all about your mindset, right? Now he doesn't hold grudges, he doesn't hate nor envy, he's just happy. So on this occasion, I would like to convey a message to all of you, what I learned from my dad. My dad, if he's here, he will, he will say, be happy, no matter how hard life hits you. So this is not a goodbye, Dad. This is, I'll see you again in heaven. Thank you. Wow, thank you very much, Toastmaster Lufti, for sharing such a beautiful speech today with us and something very personal to you. I think that your your I believe that your your father will be proud of you today. 
So thank you very much for doing that. So let's give him a big hand because he has done great today. Um, yeah, awesome. Thank you very much for sharing that. And now we move on to our next uh, time of our program today, which is the group picture. But before that, let's have the timer. Yep. All right. Awesome. You have put it there. Okay. So the timer have put the time in the chat below. And, uh, and let's have a group picture today. And we'll move on to the next part of our meeting. Okay. So please turn on your, your um, camera and then we'll take a group picture. So let's have Fanny and Danny to, oh, Fanny has gone. Okay. So Danny, you want to take a picture? You want to turn on your camera? Okay, never mind. Intan, is that a fish? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I was like, what is she holding? <laughs> move. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Hey, I thought your stick was supposed Boys. to be anjing. Why did you hold a fish? Don't have face. So, Okay, Some, Afri, can you good. sit higher, Afri? Yeah. Okay. All right. So let's take a picture. One, two, three, smile. Okay. So let's take like a fun picture. Like we want to do the, the word of the day today, right? Exhilarate. So let's have an exhilarate pose. Ready? One, two, three. Get ready. Okay, done. Thank you very much. And now we move to one of the most fun part of the meeting today, which is table topics. I always love table topics. That's my most fun part of the meeting. And let's have the toast master, the, the table topic masters to the floor. Let's welcome Pipit Andriani. Yay, thank you so much. First of all, I would like to apologize. I turned off my camera earlier because I was eating and I don't want you to feel hungry this late at night, okay? Just me only. <laughs> okay, thank you. But then I would like to start our table topic session. Just like what Tom said, I also don't understand why the topic today is the first day of summer. Because the first day of summer in Indonesia is actually 1st of January. And the last day of summer in Indonesia is 31st of December. <laughs> so I don't know why. On 20th of June, we talk about the summer. But might have something to do with our VPE Ben, who is from the United States. And then summer starts tomorrow, June 21st in the US. That's why we are talking about the first day of summer. But to celebrate and also to fill in our table topic session today, I would like to do a simple mind game with you. It's a mind game. So I will show you or I will tell you an item. It's an everyday item related to summer. But you have to imagine, you have to explain this to an alien. Okay? You need to explain this item to an alien who doesn't know anything about this world. For example, please explain about tissue. Tissue is something that people use to clean their mouth after they're eating or they drop something on the table and things like that. And when I think about tissue, I think about the trees. Can you imagine how many trees we have to cut down for making tissue and things like that? Okay, so how you make everyday life becomes really special when you have to explain it to an alien. All right, so let's start this. I would like to start with Dian TV. You want to take the chance, Dian TV? Yes, of course. Uh, can I see the timer? <laughs> yes, pin the timer. Pin him to the wall. <laughs> so can you see word, him now? Okay, so the word must be related to our daily. I will give you the word. Okay. And you need to explain it okay. yeah, to you. someone who totally doesn't know about doesn't the earth. Understand. Yeah. Yes. Okay. The first word is sandals. Gian Fisi, sandals. Okay. Thank you. 
sandals. Sandals we must to wear in pairs. Sandals protect our feet. For example, from the dirt and then from the floor and then when you walk, you need sandals. Where is the timer? You, when you walk, you need sandals. Remember, where is the, okay, remember, the sandals must be fit with your feet. And I have, I had a bad experience with the sandals, okay? So you must wear the fit sandals. So, uh, I had a bad experience with the sandals, aliens. Last month, I wore um, a bad sandals and makes my feet like a eye fist. And on the last Saturday, I got operation to take my uh, eye feet. So sandals is very important for you aliens because at that's a protect you from the dirt and protect you from maybe from the problems of your feet like I had last week uh, last uh, last two weeks okay remember aliens uh, sandals must be a fit for you and it will protect you it will protect your feet back to the top. Okay, back to the alien. Thank you so Thank much. You, the yeah, yeah. of the earth. Now I know a little bit more about sandals. Now I would like to call Fry. Fry, do you want to take the chance? Okay. Yes. Fry, the word for you is parasol. Parasol. Can you please explain it to an alien what a parasol is? Okay. A parasol will ex exhilarate you. A parasol will exhilarate you. Do you know why? Because it has a stick, because it protects you from the sun. Well, do you really need the sun? Do you know what the sun is? I mean, maybe you will burn, I will burn. But if you don't burn, then you will need a parasol. And if you want to go to the beach, which I advise you to, you can use a parasol to chill out on the beach. And if you want to know how to use a parasol to, to get into the sea, you can use a parasol to get into the sea. Do you know how? You take the parasol, you open it up, you turn it upside down, and then you jump straight right in. And then you sail on the sea as a surfboard. We humans, we use a surfboard. But I think for you, a parasol would be nice. Over to you, <laughs> to my table topics master. Thank you, Fry, who secretly, secretively wants to kill the alien by giving him or her a really bad advice about how to use parasol. <laughs> but it was exhilarating, yeah? We had uh, some of us smiled listening to that. Now, can I ask our timer, Apri, do you want to take the chance? Apri, do you want to take the chance? Uh, sure. Sure, okay. Natalie, can you be the timer? Of course, madam. Yes. Apri, can, we cannot see you. Okay, the word for you, Apri is bikini. Apri, bikini. All right, first thing first, welcome to our place, Alien. And I have some really advanced technology that can help you to be more sexy at things. And there is a bikini. The name of our product is Bikini. And if you ever that, if you saw our, uh, our species, if you ever see them in the beach, and sometimes you feel really attracted to her because 
she wearing this kind of product. So bikini can help you to be more attractive and also it's really, uh, really make your life to be more uh, enjoyable, I think. And so the bikini work is, is really simple because it is to create a bikini is really, we need to some kind of material that's, I think it's really hard to find in your in your planet. So, and and if, this material is really uh, effective and really durable. So if you can wear the to be the bikini, it can make your uh, attractiveness to be more uh, up before. And and I believe that if you wearing it in your planet, it can make uh, your soulmate can be more attractive to you and. Maybe there is you will have a chance to get another uh, partner if you wearing this uh, kind of product in your planet. So, if you want to order order this uh, product, kind of product, please uh, contact me, and so I can give a best price for you. So back to Tabata thank Pics. you, Apri, the representative of humans, and also a good salesman of bikini. But if I were the alien, I would say, okay, why don't you show me? <laughs> so I want to see you in bikini, so I will believe you. <laughs> okay, now can I have so Danny or Penny? Do you want to try? Danny? I know Danny once said she wants to uh, observe, but Danny maybe want to try or not? Snap, no? repeat. I I will stay in here, but I Observe, just yeah. to see all of you. So every okay. woman, beautiful, Mr. Robin Chan, so really uh, energetic. Uh, oh, yes. No worries. No worries. No worries. We're already, already happy my voice is not good, but Pippin, I'm really so sorry. It's fine, though. My voice is worse. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you, Danny. Yeah, right. Can I go you, to man. Penny Turnip? Penny, are you here? Yeah. Yes, yeah. Penny. Okay. Do you want to turn on your camera or you want to try with voice? Only? Uh, I'll try with voice. Okay. Penny, the word for you is sand castle. Sand castle, Penny. Sorry, I don't get it, miss. <laughs> Sorry, I don't get the word. Okay, I will change the word. Sunglasses. Okay. Sunglasses, Fanny. Okay. Hi, Alliance. Oh. Do you know what what this thing is? In um. In our planet. We call it sunglasses. If you want to know, if you're curious, if you are curious uh, about the function of it, it protects you from it protects you from um, some lights. It's usually it usually it is usually used when you are um, in front of in front of a beach enjoying yourself. Uh, or or maybe or maybe going out and you're afraid of of sun will will harm maybe harm your your eyes you could try to use uh, the sunglasses um i don't know maybe there is sun in your in your solar system maybe you're from I don't know which galaxies you're from, but here we are in planet Earth. Uh, we often kind of, kind of use it uh, to protect us from some, uh, but not only uh, to protect us from some, but also maybe, I don't know, maybe, <laughs> maybe just, just use it because sometimes I don't, I don't feel kind of harm when, when the direct sun uh, con have a contact with me but people uh, usually people uh, most most people in earth usually use this to protect their eyes from sun so that is it i guess 
Thank you so much, uh, Human Link. Penny, now I know a little bit more about sunglasses. I'm considering to buy them. Thank you so much. Now, can I go to Robin? You want to try, Robin? Yeah, okay. Yes, Robin, your word is sand castle, the one that is supposed to be for Penny. Sand castle. Okay. Wait, let me um, remove the spotlight. Hello, alien. Welcome to Earth. You come here today and you just landed in Mauritius. Wow. Usually aliens land in the US of A. I do not know why, but you are here in Mauritius. So welcome to Mauritius. Let's now I would like to bring you to one of the favorite place in Mauritius, which is the beach. Let's go to the beach. And as you have to carry on your, your sunglasses, your parasol and everything else so that you dress nicely for the beach. And now I will show you one thing. You know, just as your, your planet, you built some architecture, very nice things. I do not know. Maybe you're very well advanced with technology and just suddenly a building appears. But here we have to start from scratch and we have to use our creative mind to just come up with something. And let's have some fun. So just as the kids themselves, they are doing it, they have to take the pail, they have to take uh, everything, they have to go and get the sand and build castle. Castle? But why do we need a castle? Well, it's all about using your imagination. And you know, if you use your imagination, you can, you, you can create more things, not just sand castles. Because when you build, when you start from there, you can build anything you want in your life. You can build cars, you can build um, like airplanes, anything you want that the moment you start to use your imagination. So dear fellow alien, Start right now and have some fun with the sand and get your hands dirty. Thank you very much and welcome. Thank you so much, a human link, Robin. Not only he explained about what Sandcastle is, he ended it as the motivator of all aliens. <laughs> Alien, start right now. Okay, got you. Okay, next one is Burona. Do you want to try Burona? Okay, your word is surfboard. Surfboard, please, please explain it to an alien. Alien, can you imagine to go through the wave of the sea without sinking? So you need a surfboard. A surfboard is a board which can take you on the, on the sea to go with the wave so you don't fall down and you can enjoy. And it may, the ship is a little bit peculiar. It's like a little bit awful, but not exactly. And it's light so you can surf with it and don't get sink, sunk, don't get sunk. And you can go far from the beach and you are waiting for the wave to come and in fact i think you will have fun when there are wave because it's useless when there are no wave so it's really fun to something to work on when the wave is big and there are many wave so it's really fun so let's have together come down to us and we spend our time at the sea and surf together okay back to ttm Thank you, Bruna, who's asking to surf together. I think Bruna is asking this alien on a date, surfing date. <laughs> okay, now let's go to Pipi. Pipi, you want to try? Pipi? Yes, Pipi. Yes. Yes, you want to try? Yes, okay. Let's go. Okay, please explain to an alien 
What is a coconut tree? A coconut tree, Fifi. If I did to speak to alien about coconut tree, then I will bring this alien to my hometown in Cirebon. For those like Robin, you never been there in my hometown, right? Yeah, it's a border city between West Java and the middle of Java. We have mountain and also sea. Now, when to the pits, although it's not as beautiful as Bali, but we have some coconut tree. By having coconut tree there, then I will be explained more easy. I mean, I will be explained easier to the alien that this coconut tree is five until six meter height. And uh, when the fruit is already enough to be picked up and we can eat. So something like that. Well, um, it's not very complicated as long as we bring this alien to the real uh, model that we speak of these goods. It will be easier for the alien. Rather than I speak, you know, in the Google, coconut tree is something like that. So it's better for me to bring this alien to my hometown, to the beach, where we have so many plantation of the coconut tree there. Thank you very much. Back to Toastmaster of the meeting. Thank you. Yes, actually, Fifi, make a comparison between Robin and alien. <laughs> I know I can share your sentiment. It's hard for me to differentiate between them. <laughs> <laughs> Look, his face is red now. See, that's one of the one of the signs someone is an alien. You can change the color of your face really fast. <laughs> okay, now let's go to Natalie. Do you want to try, Natalie? Sure, Madam Aliens. Yes. Okay, I am the leader of all aliens. Right, yeah. please explain to my people, alien, what is the meaning of sunburn? What is a sunburn? Fellow aliens, wherever you are living right now, I believe you know what sun is. That big thing, round yellow object that revolves around the galaxies and it emits strong heat yes that is what it's called sun and when you got sunburn as we all got in the here on the earth it means that your skin are exposed to the sun for a long period of time that you cannot help it but get red rashes and it will change you just like a crab from your normal skin color to red. Now, I don't know where you are living right now, but if you want to go to the earth, I would suggest to you to have a sunblock. And I'm sure that you don't know what sunblock is. Sunblock is actually a cream that can prevent sunburn. You just need to put it on your skin, whether your skin is thick or thin, and it will protect your skin for a duration of time. If you, like your leader said, if you want to invade the earth, make sure you need, you know, make sure you need to find, make sure you find me beforehand to prevent any casualties in terms of sunburn, because I can sell you those sunscreen in a cheap price. I cannot, I mean, my blood cannot lie. I'm a seller. So aliens, to prevent sunburn, use sunscreen. And if you want to invade the earth, please contact me. Back to you, TTM, leader of aliens. Thank you so much. Now, by this time, the aliens realize that all humans are capitalist. And then suddenly, okay, by earth, we don't need more capitalists here. We have so many uh, capitalist aliens here. All right, so we know that this is our tendency yeah, to promote something and in the end, try to make profit, even to the aliens. All right, thank you so much. This is already 7 p.m. Uh, Surabaya time. So our table topic session has finished. Sorry for those who did not get a chance, but we had really decent amount of uh, speakers today. All right, and then it has been an exhilarating experience just now. Then I would like to give the control to the Tom, but let's go with time. Timer first, okay, timer already. 
announce the time. All right, so let's go to Tom. Thank you very much. Okay, yeah, I'm looking at the time. Who's tracking my time? Okay, got it. Okay, so thank you very much for putting the time in the chat below and I will be preparing the names on the ballot later on as I'm also the ballot counter for today. And next up, what do we have on our agenda? So we have the evaluation part, so the, the e evaluation segment. It's one of the most interesting part because evaluation is all about learning and improving on where we have to improve as a Toastmaster here in this meeting. So let's give it up to our general evaluator, back to Madam General Evaluator, Toastmaster Natalie. Thank you, Toastmaster of the meeting, Toastmaster Robin. And yes, this is evaluation session. A lot of people call it the heart of Toastmasters because this is where we can learn from other people experience and other people suggestions and we can all improve ourselves. So we'll start with individual evaluators for our prepared speech speakers, and then we'll continue on with a more technical role players. So first off, I would like to call upon the first evaluator who will evaluate Toastmaster Intan Rawit. So please give a warm virtual applause for Toastmasters Rona Wati Wong So. Anjing or dog in Indonesia is an animal some people love, but some people hate. But in turn, put it in a different context, something which I did not expect on the semantic or language context. So congratulations in turn for bringing this subject, subject which is rare, but very interesting. This is like the first time I hear about a subject about the semantic or language and develop its development. So congratulations on that. I really like that you give the background information on why you come up with this topic to put it in context, because otherwise for me also, I did not understand. Some people in our generation, we connotate anjing as bad as you said, but apparently now it's different for millennials. So thank, thank, you, thank you for bringing this subject to our attention. This is a very interesting topic and you have a good dialogue because with language, the intonation, the way that you speak is very important because when you put a different tone, then the meaning is different. So you have a good background information, very interesting topic and good dialogue. I would like to give you three suggestions to improve on your next speech. The first is to get ready with your slide. I think it's better for you to have it on right away when you are called to speak instead of getting prepared and spend a few minutes because then it looks professional. I think you can learn on how to do it there's a YouTube on it. And then the second, since this is a research project, I would expect to see the sources of your speech, of your research. And I was waiting until the end, but I didn't see any sources that you quoted or you put as your reference. And then the third, although it's good for you to give the context with the information, background information, but in my opinion, the opening is very long compared to the body because it's until it's yellow, then you get to the body and then the conclusion is very short. So I would suggest that you have a shorter, shorter opening. So you have a, a longer body and then you have a summary and closing of what your, what actions or what you take away from your speech. Overall though, you have three positive things. Give background information, very interesting topic and good dialogue. And three things I suggest, get ready with your slide, uh, put resources or sources of your reference, and then have a balanced 
a body opening body and conclusion. Congratulations for, for completing the project. Back to GE. Thank you, Toastmaster Ronawati, for your evaluation. I'm pretty sure Intan will note down all of your feedbacks. Thank you. Next evaluator uh, who will evaluate our second prepared speech speaker, Toastmaster Lufti Ahmad Jasuli. It will be Toastmaster Fifi Amaliawati. So please give her a big, warm virtual applause. My fellow Toastmasters, today, Toastmaster Lutfi has delivered his second social speech about eulogy. A eulogy is formal speech that praises a person who has passed away. Based my observation, Toastmaster Lutfi has delivered his speech with a good and organized speech outline, such as he started with opening remark by clearly saying this eulogy speech is dedicated to praise his late father. When he said, my father, it will bring the audience to focus and engage with Toastmaster Lutfi late father. So it's good. Then Toastmaster Lutfi also shared how his father had made it back to his life. If we remember Toastmaster Lutfi shared some points such as told the story how his father influenced to his life and teach him some good things such as religious. He also mentioned how his father accelerate person. He always smiled, something like that. So he bring emotion to us. Toastmaster Lusty also closed his speech by copy the quote from his dad. Be happy, no matter how hard the life is. It brings emotion for the audience to know how good his father was. By having good outline, Toastmaster Lutfi is able to present an opportunity for us to know the person that he praised. Then his father, religious man, accelerate, motivated person. And he also gave us the opportunity to share our love, our sympathy to his late father. I would like to give my recommendation for the things that he may want to improve for his next bits, such as Toastmaster Luffy may adjust your position so we can see your standing pose. Usually when people give eulogy speech, they will stand up as the respect to the person that he prays for. Toastmaster Luffy also want to play with intonation and pose pillar. He may try to play more pose to bring some emotion for us, such as when he say, my father wanted to say, be happy no matter how hard the life is. Toastmaster Lutfi, you may say it with higher intonation to bring strong message from your late father. And then please stop for a while before you continue with other words. Let the audience remember your father quote to be something memorable for all of us here. I believe by doing so, Toastmaster Lutfi will be able to bring more impactful message and bring emotion to the audience. Overall, it is a good eulogy with good structure outline. Just like Abraham Lincoln said that, in the end, it's not the years in your life that count. It is the life in your years. Very impressive, Toastmaster Lutfi. Thank you for your sharing with us. Looking forward to see you in the next speech, in the next meeting. Thank you. Back to Tom. Thank you, Toastmaster Fifi, for your evaluation. Okay, timer Api, how are we? Yes, thank you so much. I love your nimble fingers. Great. Okay, so ballot counter Robin, can we vote now? Yes, I will put um, the link in the chat. So we don't have to vote for the best speaker because one of the speaker has gone over time. But the rest, you can just vote on and then we'll just bring it on. Okay. Okay. So where is it now? All right. So please vote and I will announce it later on. So back to you, Madam General Evaluator. Thank you, Toastmaster Robin. Okay. So in the next minute or two, feel free to click on the form and give your vote. 
while you are doing that, I would like to call upon my team member, the technical role play player to deliver their reports. So Ah Counter, are you ready? Dian Fifi? Okay. Yeah. Uh, I will allow you to share screen. I think you, yes. And please okay, thank you. welcome Dian Fifi. Okay, thank you very much for a uh, general evaluator. I have observed and ca counted for the unnecessary sounds and repetitive words. For Natalie, uh, you don't have any un unnecessary sounds and repetitive words. Robin, one a uh, and one, uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, okay, one er. Uh. Intan, five a, uh, two um and four er. Uh. And Ibu Ronawati, you say on 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 the sea on on the sea two repetitive words on and we, we um one um and one uh well and then lutfi two er pipit one a uh, fanny four a uh, two um and one er uh, and uh, say uh, and said a don 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 until three times and for apri three ers and repetitive word is is thank you very much for ge and uh, back to the ge thank you very much this is my report back to the ge thank you toastmaster dian fifi our accountant can we give her another round of applause please thank you dian yes. previously when dian fifi did a counter report we suggested her to show the report and the next time she is doing the role which is today, she actually applied the feedback. So this, that is how important feedback is. It really helps us with our own growth and it really helps us deliver better presentation. So Dian Fifi, I would like to give you a quick uh, feedback. So I love how you apply the feedback from the previous time. And I also like how you really practice your listening skills uh, because it's not easy to listen and to really note down, to really note down all of this uh, speech fillers, especially if the speech is very compelling, I would like to suggest to you, because now you've done all of these fundamental things, right? You can count the um, ah, and you already identify the crutch words. So I would like to challenge you for the next level is to try to find some common error that we all can learn together. For example, I noticed that in this meeting, the most used speech speech crutches is ah or um and then you can also if you want to really up it up a little bit you can also say that okay natalie uh you had three ah and i noticed that's uh, you say those are ah in the beginning of your sentence those are like the next level you can consider it as part of your growth but for what it is you have done tremendously well so great job the end thank you all right, moving on to my next role taker is our grammarian, Toastmaster Freiha. So please welcome with big warm virtual applause, Toastmaster Freiha. Thank you, Madam General Evaluator. May I share my screen? Okay. Yes, you can. Thank you. Oh, wait. Let me just chip. And okay. Well, what a nice meeting that was, full of exhilarating expressions and stories and lessons. Today, the word exhilarate was used a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times. And it was most used by Toastmaster, Table Topics Master Pipit. Yay, Toastmaster Pipit, thank you very much for your efforts for using that word. I think your session was very exhilarating as well. A few expressions that I really liked from this meaning from this meeting is displayed on the screen. First, we have the word millennials. 
The word millennials was used by Toastmaster Intan to refer to a group of young people who used the word in a different way. Therefore, in the future, when we, instead of using the word young people, we could just say millennials. And Sorry, she, that's not self uh, yeah. The screen um, on my end, it's stop at the word of the day, accelerate. Have you changed oh, okay, 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 wait, wait, wait. I apologize. Sorry, sorry. No, no, no problem. That's why I interrupted you. Sorry to interrupt you. It's okay. It's okay. Um, okay, let me let me just maybe you oh. click the figure this out. Full screen first, and then share the screen. Okay. Thank you. Um, well, maybe I can I can just um, minimize it, not not make it um, presentation mode. Sure. That would be better. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That works. Thank you. Uh, yeah, yeah. Apologies for that. Okay. No problem. No problem. Is this okay? Yes, perfect. This is yeah. great. Thank you. Um, yeah, so Toastmaster Intan said, language is always changing. I thought that was a very wise observation she made because it's directly related to the core message of her speech by um, showing how a word has changed meaning from one generation to another. And then Toastmaster Lufti said, be happy no matter how hard life hits you, which was an advice from his father. I thought this was very beautiful and emotional and it was very impactful in terms of its simplicity. And Toastmaster Apri said, sandals must fit with your, with your feet. I thought it was a metaphor to describe. But I think it was Diane. It was Diane. Okay. Sorry, Diane. Okay, Diane. Um, so sandals must fit with your feet. It would. It means just be yourself. Just wear the shoes that you like and be yourself. Just Master Robin said, with regards to sandcastle, the moment you start to use your imagination you can build anything you want. That was a great action, call for action to end the table topics. Toastmaster Natalie, that was a very nice way to describe a sunburn, which is, it will change you into a crab from your normal skin color to red. Using the color of the animal really creates a vivid image of the sunburn. Toastmaster Fifi said, it is not the years in your life that counts, it's a life in your words, in your years. I think that was an exhilarating thought to describe um, the feeling that Toastmaster Lufti conveyed to the audience. Back to the recommend part of this uh, grammarian report. These are expressions that uh, I thought may require improvement for our next meeting. I would request you to please unmute yourselves and participate with me to propose an improvement of the sentence that's displayed on the screen. Could you please all unmute yourself? Yes. Good. Oh, wait. Toastmaster, okay. So there was a first expression that said, share you. What could be the improvement for that? Share with you. Share with you. Right. Correct. Share with you. Share with you. That is correct. No, no color. I met a lot of situations. I met many situations. I faced several I situations. Faced. Excellent. A I deal of, with. Yes, just must not leave. I deal with. A lot I, of deal. I deal with. I dealt with, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes. Sorry. A group of high schooler. High schoolers. High schoolers. Or you could just say a group of high students. school students. High school students. He always happy. He always was happy. Always happy. He was always happy, correct. Was. The sandals must be fit with your feet. Without yeah. with, must be fit. Must fit. 
no, the no B. Must, must fit. fit your feet. Right. The sandal right. must fit. Oh, it you. must fit you. Just to be very simple and quick. She wearing that kind of product. She's wearing. She wears that kind of product. Yes. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Just that kind of product. Okay. <laughs> Use the word that was allocated. She wears a bikini as simple as that. I think I prefer too awkward saying the word bikini. That's why I <laughs> that kind of product. A few pronunciation of words that I've heard today, I'd like to that we listen to to it together. The first word would be Mahicans. Mahicans. I will play the sound. Mahicans. Mahicans. Mahican. 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 Next would be material. 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 Curious. 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 And lastly, purpose. 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 Right. And I end this segment. My I end my report with new words to learn. I personally learned the word anjing today. Whether I'll use it for the good or the bad. That's up to me. We're in Mauritius. No one will know except for Toastmaster Robin. So anjing is an Indonesian word, which means dog, depending on who uses it. The next word is semantic. Semantic means relating to meaning in language or logic. And eulogy. Eulogy means a speech or piece of writing that praises someone or something highly, typically someone who has just died. With this, I end my report. Over to you, Madam General Evaluator. Thank you, Tosmasas Fry, as our grammarian. Can we give her another round of applause, please? Wow. I'd like to give you a quick feedback. I really enjoy your session. I think it was a complete grammarian report from what I've seen so far. You identify the strength of the speakers. You identify some improvement that we all can learn. And also not only stopping at that and counting word of the day, explaining word of the day, you also go, you also went the extra miles by inviting us to pronounce the words together. Plus, what I love is you included the new words that you learn. I think that's very authentic and it makes you different because not everyone will add that uh, element in the grammarian report. So I really enjoy your session and I can see how dedicated you are in preparing all the slides. It looks so professional and thank you. Thank you so much for coming to Bineka and helping us in our meeting. Thank you. Come back again, you know, all anytime. So thank you. And Next, Apri, you want to add something? Uh, do you want to read the timer report quickly? Just so you have some air time. Timer, Apri. Yes, for, for what time? No, just give a, a recap, time recap, please. Oh, okay. Wait a second. Okay, for the speaker, Intan Ravid is disqualified. And then for the table topic participant, all the speaker is qualified. And for evaluator, all speaker also qualify. So I think that's all for the timer report. Thank you, Timer Apri. And a quick feedback for you. Thank you so much for helping our meeting. And I love how you were really in charge of your role. You really pay close attention. The green, yellow, and red turn on at the right time. I. <laughs> I must confess, whenever I became a timer, there was always something that I missed. So I really commend you on that. Thank you. And well done. 
Well, then also to post the time in the chat box, so it makes it easier for the Tom or the TTM or the GE to really proceed forward with their uh, session. So thank you for doing such a wonderful job tonight. Can we give him another virtual hand clapping? Thank you. All right, before I, I give it back to ballot counter to announce the favorite speakers, let me give you a quick feedback of our overall meeting today. First stop is we started five minutes late and partly because not all role takers are here on time. So as a president, I have allowed it to happen, but let's aim to start on time next meeting onwards because today is an exception. Great job. We will end in about 7.40. So I think it's still in the time frame. So pretty good at, at that. Then I would like to move on to the overall energy of this meeting. I think even though there's only uh, 12 of us here in this Zoom room, I think the overall energy is pretty good. Uh, it's quite exhilarating. And I, and I believe that partly it's also because our Toastmaster of the meeting, Toastmaster Robin, brought uh, good energy as well to lead the whole meeting. So for Toastmaster Robin, I love your energy and you know, it really makes a difference if the master of ceremony or the Toastmaster of the meeting really bring in the energy because we are not meeting in person. So definitely in online, you know, all of this energy is needed. I would like to suggest to you when you had some technical things, problems or anything that occurs, don't panic. Fake it till you make it. Just keep calm, man. Ask cucumber, cool as cucumber. So you don't have to apologize to the audience because the audience doesn't, we don't know that you have a problem. So just keep calm and keep going on. All right, great job. And then for Toastmaster, Table Topic Master, Toastmaster Pipit, I love the theme. I think it's quite creative to explain things to the aliens. I don't think I've been to a meeting where the TTM asked us to do that. So good job on that. It's an innovation. I love how the items are actually related to the theme of the meeting, first day of summers. And it also allow the speakers, the question is not too hard, and but it also has some depth that the speakers can, can allow. So great job on choosing the, the theme. One suggestion for you is at the end, please recap who who were the speakers so for example like the grammarian maybe she wanted to write down the right name but she missed it so just recap first table topic speaker is this with the items sandals blah blah blah, blah until number eight because today we have a lot of speakers so when people vote we also can remember who is actually saying what other than that great job um, my team i have said that and let me oh let me give you a quick tips for table topic speaker because i noticed most of you did this so when you were asked to describe an object or to define a concept if you're blank you can always go with the root of five w and one h what is it it is a sandal how does it look like oh it looks like this why sandals are important how would you you know, uh, what are the features of the sandals? Those are the things that you can explore on if you're blank. So when you don't have anything on your mind, just start from, from 5W and 1H. Next to our two speech evaluators, Toastmaster Ronawati and Toastmaster Fifi. Wow, I must say both of you did a wonderful job today. I am really proud of you both. Both delivered solid evaluations Toastmaster Rona, I think, you know, your analytical skills, the way you really dissected the speech, you've nailed it. I can only say that it was a solid evaluation because you've mastered like the basic and the fundamentals of, of the, the evaluation. My challenge for you, Toastmaster Rona, is to, because you've done all of this, you know, basic and intermediate level. Now the advanced one is how to pick your words so I challenge you to prepare some word choices that can uplift or empower the speakers. So when they hear it, they will feel like, okay, yes, I want to do more. I want to do better. 
And I know you can do it. It's just maybe before nobody challenged you to do that. So today I would like to take that privilege to challenge you to go up next level, Burana. You can do it. All right. And then second, second evaluator is Toastmaster Fifi. And Toastmaster Fifi is quite new in Toastmaster. Uh, she's been a member for years, but then she took a break and then she joined our club again. Today, I saw that she really delivered a solid evaluation because she really analyzed it. And uh, just like Toastmaster Rona did, she, she mastered the basic understanding what it is that the speaker needs, right? So both Fifi and Rona today, they evaluated based on project objective. And that's very important for all evaluators. You need to evaluate based on project objective because the objectives are there for a reason so that everyone can learn uh, from, you know, bite-sized evaluation. They don't feel too overwhelmed. They don't also feel too, uh, you know, unmotivated based on that. So Fifi, what I love the most about your evaluation is you have this calm and encouraging vibe as an evaluator, and it made us want to listen to you more. So I think that's your strength and you should keep it. My challenge for you is to explore more on the how. So what you did was you explained the what, what is good, what can be improved, and you ex also explained the why, why it is good, why you can improve on that, and the how is not as clear as what Burona uh, uh, demonstrated, because Burona said this is how you can do it. So the how is what differentiate a more experienced evaluator and um, maybe a less experienced evaluator, because you can tell them directly this is how you can do it better. And for example, on your case, you can say to Lufti that, okay, Lufti, this is how you can do it better. Be happy, no matter the situation is. So instead of telling him to add pauses, blah, 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 demonstrate it. So show them. Uh, I think that will help your evaluation in general. I've, overall, I think it was a great, meeting for two speakers, great speeches. Intan, I just like what Verona already mentioned. Let me just say that I love your enthusiasm. I think you always bring it every time you deliver a speech and it attracts the audience. So I think that's also part of your charm, your, you know, your vocal tone as well, which is very pleasant to hear. And Lufti, it, it was such a sincere speech from the heart. I could really felt the emotion as well. Uh, I think I can give you one option or suggestion, because this is an eulogy, right? You can also say it in first person point of view. So you, instead of saying my dad is this, you can say that you have taught me about love or you have taught me to be patient because this is something that is personal, right? You want to dedicate the speech to your dad. So you can also consider to use that first point, person point of view as if you're speaking to him. That's it. And thank you for having me. And thank you for visiting Bineka. I hope today's meeting is accelerated for you all. And I'll give it back to our Toastmaster of the meeting and ballot counter, Robin Chan. Thank you very much, Madam General Evaluator. That was really solid evaluation for today. Let's give her a big hand. Yeah, awesome. Okay, so I need to learn how to be as calm as a cucumber. I do not know how calm a cucumber is, but thank you very much for saying that today. All right, so now we move on to our best tabletop. No, wait, hold on. The results of your voting today. So let's launch the, the certificate right now. Can you all see? Is it visible? All right, awesome. Yes. Yeah, okay. So get ready. The first one, the, first, the best table topic for today is none of it than drum rolls is... This is your toast, Master Natalie. Yeah. And Thank you. <laughs> Natalie, can you take photo of yourself? And check. Thank you. Yeah, I cannot take picture here, so maybe you can take. Yeah, I'm using handphone. Cannot. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's a supermarket, right? Okay. <laughs> Myself. Look, where's my camera? Okay. One, two, three. All right. Okay. 
Awesome. And the next one, we also, because people voted and we also have another one for table topics is Toastmaster Robin. Yay. I didn't fake it. So it's just real based on the result. This is okay. a rigged election. <laughs> <laughs> There's two. So can, can we put two? Yeah, I'll take a picture of you. Okay. All right. Hey, Robin. You yes. give a spoiler. Oh, sorry. Okay, <laughs> sorry. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, great. Now you can bring that spoiler. <laughs> okay, <in. laughs> I'll bring back the spoiler. So now the next one, the best evaluator for today is Toastmaster Ronawati Wongso. Yay! Can take okay. picture. Okay, Smile. Three, two, one. Awesome. Okay, and lastly, we have the best speaker for today is none other than Toastmaster Lufti. Oh, I forgot the date. The date is wrong. Um, I will edit that. Never mind. Just take a picture first. I will edit it later. Okay. Lufti, smile. Three, two, one. Gotcha. Okay, that's all for today. And now I'll leave back the... Now back to um, Madam President, Natalie, for the business, the club business. Over to you. Thank you, Robin. Yes, thank you everyone for such an accelerated meeting. I hope you enjoy this meeting and you've learned something new. Uh, just a quick club business is because today is the last meeting in Toastmaster term 2020-2021. As a representative of executive committee in Beneka Online Toastmaster Club, I'm glad to share with you all that our club reached select distinguished club. So we will get that trophy of select distinguished club, which means that we've achieved seven out of 10 goals in seven months. So thank you guys for your hard work and your cooperation. It only made possible because of you, just like Celine Dion sang, because of you. Uh, and our since July onwards, we're gonna keep on meeting twice a month, Sunday, 6 p.m. GMT plus seven or 7 p.m. GMT plus eight. Uh, so I hope you can, on the first and third Sunday, so I hope you can bookmark your schedule to make sure that you are available to come to our meeting because, hey, this club is, exists for you. It's for your own personal development. So to help us to serve you best, if you have any questions or ideas or suggestions, don't hesitate to contact any one of the EXCO club, uh, EXCO uh, meeting, uh, sorry, EXCO members. Fifi, our secretary, Robin, our VPPR, Pipit, our SAA, myself, the president. Um, and also, last but not least, the club business is we would like to thank Burrona for her contribution as, yeah, give her a round of applause for her contribution as treasurer this term. Uh, thank you, Burrona. And also club mentor, Burrona, and also Ben, who just finished their term end of this June. And yeah, and we, we also have an exciting news. Next week, we'll have virtual Toastmaster conference. So if you are interested to be part of it from Bineka Online Toastmaster Club, we have the privilege to be featured in the Toastmaster Global Conference. And our breakout room session will feature some of our members sharing two minute stories, two minute personal stories. So if you want to be one of those four or five members to be featured on, please contact me, uh, Intan and Lufti. Uh, we, will, we will want to give opportunity for our club members to be featured on, you know, on a global stage. So Intan, if you're interested, please contact me, also Lufti as well. I will give you more information in detail. Dian Fifi also, if you're interested, contact me. I can give you some more information too. So that's it. And before I, 
oh, the guest is already left. All Natalie, right. if, yes. Intan finished level one, although we don't have poster yet, maybe it's good to celebrate. Yay! Congratulations, Intan, for finishing level one. Thank you. Yes. We'll share the poster next meeting, yeah, Intan. Yeah, next meeting, your poster will be up. And then Lufti <laughs> is one more project away from level three. Okay, keep going, members. And thank you for all of your contribution. Quick feedback from Fry and Apri before I close this meeting for good. Fry first, maybe. Yes, thank you very much for having me today. Thank you very much. I enjoyed the meeting. I enjoyed uh, completing the role. And congratulations to all of you. You're just awesome. Thank you, Fry. I will give you with parasol. <laughs> All right, Apri. And I think I don't have any feedback because uh, I quite enjoyed the meeting so far. And also give thank you for give you the opportunity to be a role for tonight's meeting. And I also want to congratulate for Pinnacle to achieving a distinguished club for this term. So I think that's all for me. Thank you, Apri. Yes, you do actually have feedback because feedback doesn't have to be like improvement. Feedback can also share with us what you enjoy and you know what you what you like from it. So thank you for your feedback. All right, guys, I'm not gonna waste anyone's time anymore. So this meeting is officially closed. I'll see you on the first week of July. Actually, I'll see you next week on virtual Toastmaster conference. The detail will be shared in our WhatsApp group. See you. Bye bye. Meeting is officially closed.